very excited by this work. It's a new commission of the, the triennial. And she's an artist that I saw about five, six years ago. Uh, and I was very fascinated when I learned about her that actually she studied weaving. She has a degree in weaving, but instead of graduating to become a weaver of textiles, work in the fashion industry, she made the decision to be an artist. And she uses her loom that, that you know, and she does it herself. You, you can't have an assistant do it for you. Almost like John Cage's interrupted uh, interruptions into the piano, you know, where she inserts various objects like, like toy swords, uh, chopsticks, spoons, sometimes colanders, into the weave, into her loom, and they are woven into these gorgeous, you know, multimedia uh, installations. And frequently her works take the form of either uh, very uh, stunning wall sculptures or sort of totemic, almost totemic figures. Most of her work is about family and gender and, and the everyday life, the drama of everyday life, uh, so to speak. So for the triangle, this commission work she has created uh, will follow your heart wholeheartedly and the name, the, that title comes from what her father said to her when she was deciding whether to become a full-time artist and her father said, follow your heart wholeheartedly. And this essentially is a portrait of her family uh, with her mother and father and her younger brother and she and her sister uh, on the other side. So her parents have passed on and recently during COVID, her younger brother finally succumbed to diabetes after a long illness. And so this stepping figure was the last work literally to be created because after he died, she called on a phone call, she told me, can I, can I add something because, you know, I want to memorialize my brother. And so she created this figure of her brother and he is installed in, in the arms, the embrace of her deceased parents. So that, you know, an indication, as she says, that finally, after so many years of pain and suffering, her brother, who also encouraged her, has returned to the embrace of her parents. And, and only she and her sister uh, are left here and the two figures on the walls, you know, represent that. That's why they are standing apart from this. I mean, both from a kind of emotive, but also a kind of sheer technical virtuosity. I mean, the, the, the kind of exuberance and, and sophistication in the technique is, is really quite uh, stunning. The closer you look, to the extent that even the threads actually are not uh, bought, and then she just wove them in. Anything that is multicolored, she actually pleats the threads themselves to form this kind of, of fiber. So an extraordinary sort of, you know, uh, expression of artistic uh, energy. And the most interesting thing is, of course, you know, other than being trained from an artisanship background, she is a woman of color from an emerging uh, Asian country, Malaysia, which very few people would be able to uh, pinpoint even, unfortunately, despite us being in the age of globalization.